Where you cannot make this stuff up. Like, if this was not being televised, I swear you probably wouldn't believe it. It say a woman shoots up McDonald's over biscuits and hash browns. Are you serious? <sighs> Let's get into it. What a full mass woman who does not like the exchange at a McDonald's decides to shoot it up. Texas, Samantha Anthony is behind bars and facing a second degree felony charge after authorities Damn. say she opened fire at a McDonald's drive through What? Because she had an issue with her McDonald's order. <sighs> Anthony Are you left the serious? restaurant with an order, but returned 30 minutes later and began screaming and banging, claiming she did not receive her order of Biscuits and hash browns. <laughs> what? With millions watching. Hold on. I, like, from this program. out of all things that you could be fired up over, this is what you... An employee who was present at the time of the incident recounted the incident, quote, when I was talking to her, I noticed she had the wrappers on her lap. So she ate them. I was just like, <laughs> can I see the bag? Because I noticed the bag. The employee told K-E-N-S-5. She said, you didn't give me a bag either. What? Even though I could see it on her lap. It would take another 30 minutes of arguing and a manager checking video footage to confirm Anthony did receive an order before shots rang out. So she got mad because they caught her in a lie. Like, you tried the whole... You ate your order. First of all, you came back 30 minutes later. After the order was already eaten up. Like, you already ate the order up. But you didn't. You probably didn't. Like, you still ate it anyway. You had a problem with the order, but you still ate it anyway. And then you come back with an empty bag. What happened to checking your order before you leave the drive through line? Or if you don't want to hold up the line, what happened to checking your order, like pulling over in the parking lot and checking it to make sure you got everything? Or even if you didn't and you got home or wherever you went and you checked, normally you would take everything back with the everything still intact. Like you don't go through eating, picking and choosing like where they do that at. And now you got mad because they caught you because they checked footage to to confirm you received the order, now you're shooting? Like, are you serious? What, what is going on? People are losing their minds in this world. And this is why people shouldn't have guns. Like, what the freak? Like, guns should not exist because guns only do one thing. And <laughs> it, 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 it's just that simple. Like, I'm not a... I don't get into politics and stuff like that, but... <clears throat> Gun, what is the point of guns? Like, if nobody had access to guns, then there would be no reason to need them. Like, I, I just... And then you have people like this who use them irresponsibly over a McDonald's order. As they fired a weapon from the driver's side car window into the second drive through window, the arrest warrant says, according... The San Antonio Express You could have killed somebody. Employees um, took cover behind the walls and equipment. Um, Anthony was arrested on May 16th and is currently been he being held on a $75,000 bond after being charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It is unclear why it took nearly five months Damn. to arrest Anthony. Five months? The reports show that Anthony's license plate was captured by the surveillance camera five months it took her five this happened five months ago it took you five months to arrest her what if she came back to that same um restaurant a month later and decided to take out the manager because he like <sighs> the police gotta do better i'm sorry they just do this camera along with bumper stickers on her lower rear window, including a 
white sticker of a rifle and big A. Anthony's tattooed arm also made it easy for authorities to identify her as there were clearly visible marks or marking um, on the footage. They had clear footage of her. Maybe yeah, because her no skin color. Why it took this long for them to issue the warrant? Because her skin arrest. color. All of the information was present on day one. If she was black, um, to the workers, um, I'm glad they quickly okay. arrested her. It was a traumatic event. Nobody should have to go through that. But guns, once again, gun culture. All right. Um, obviously, this person is responsible um, for what they did. But guns, guns, guns. And you cannot talk about stories like this that seem holistically extreme without understanding the context of our gun culture in America, especially in Texas. All right, David, thoughts here. Dr. Richie, I think you're being a little tough on this woman because have you ever had the biscuits and McDonald's? Yeah, I don't know. They're the really biscuits, good. Yeah. No, in all like seriousness, <laughs> whether it's the biscuits or look, I get really mad with somebody if I say, hey, I want a quarter pounder, no cheese. No cheese, just plain, the burger and the bun. And then I, I, you know, pick up the bag. I don't want to insult them, so I drive away. And then I see, hey, it's got cheese in it. I get it. I'm mad. I'm angry. Why would you? Between and, and everybody's in time. People need to like really get their emotions in order. Like, is it worth you being upset over something that fucking pet? Ugh, I need to stop cussing over something that petty. Like over food. Like really, even him. Like making that comment. Oh, I, I get mad. I get. Why do you need to get mad? Just it could be annoying because they didn't get your order right. But for you to get all mad and upset, what is that going to do? Like, just like I'm, I'm just like, I don't maybe I think differently because like, what is the point of getting so upset over something? So like, it's just food like can we get mad over these pedophiles? Can we get mad over these abusers? Can we get mad over like stuff that actually warrants you to be upset? Like this petty stuff is nothing to get mad over. I'm sorry. Like I just. <sighs> Title to be mad if somebody screws up an order, if they don't get it right, fine. You can be upset, but that doesn't mean you get to raise your voice berate people and then pull out a gun and start shooting it's kind of like you know sure if something bad happens to you everybody has a right to be angry about it and of course it's human nature to be upset and be disappointed but how did that what separates our society from so he needs to choose his words carefully because something bad happened to you that is nothing bad that happened to you they messed up your order it was a it's a mistake like why do you get upset at people making mistakes? It's not now if they continuously mess up your order like and you're you go there every day or every time you go there, your order's messed up. OK, then I can see you warranting frustration. But if they mess up your order and they made a mistake, like what is what is the point? Of, what 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 energy like you're you're just harnessing lower vibrational energy like I I don't understand like you're. <laughs> So just being totally Humans. out of control is the rule of law. The idea that, okay, I may be angry, but I'm, I'm not allowed to take matters into my own hand. And people who do take matters into their own hand and act on their impulse to be violent, well, I mean, those are people who are going to face a lot of trouble. Yeah. People just need to really pick and choose their battles for real. Like, like that's nothing to be upset over. Like, I'm sorry. It really isn't. Let alone sh shooting bullets through a window like it, it's really not and that dude at the end he just he irks me because like why would you even it's still nothing to get mad over as a grown mature adult that's the problem there's not a lot of mature adults clearly his mindset is not all there either like there's no need to get upset over food at all like they messed up your order. There's still no need to get upset. Like, I'm sorry. That's just, it's just me. Is it just me, y'all? Let me know in the comments. I'm sorry. Like, because I, I just, I don't see the point of wasting energy on something that is so insignificant as an order at a drive-thru line. Like, period. Just go make your own food. Like, 
I, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think.